In this week's Behind the Scenes, Mod Mark tells us what's coming to RuneScape throughout the month of March. Are you one of those players that looks at a boss monster in the news and thinks, that looks cool, but I just get owned? Perhaps you're an experienced boss fighter, but would love a way to try out different tactics without the threat of death. Well, we have the perfect solution for you, and it's called Boss Practice Mode. If you enter a boss's lair, you'll see an interface for setting up your boss fight. On this interface, you'll see a practice button, which will allow you to die safely, but not earn XP or loot from the possible kill. Our main update this month is our highly anticipated 200th quest, and with it comes a huge amount of new content for you to enjoy. Ever imagined what it would be like if the hero never existed? Bosses have won, cities have been taken over just because you weren't there to stop them. In an alternative version of our history, Zamarigal rules Nuvarok, an ominous city filled with the living corpses of all your previous allies, friendly shopkeepers, and even the poor old Varrock guard. In total, there are five parts to this ridiculous and comical adventure, each a humorous take on one of our existing Varrock quests, with increasingly difficult requirements to access. You'll also need to make some cash, since you won't be able to access your bank in this new world, dealing in Zemo marks to earn the gear you'll need to succeed. Ah, oh, it's just like being a noob again. There's even a special task set to complete, with some new assignments in there, even rescuing poor old Gertrude's cat. The content is full of that nostalgic buzz you've told us that you want with familiar music, hidden rewards and celebrations of all things runescapey. The content is jam-packed full of rewards for completing each part of the quest and the task set and a special reward shop from Gypsy Aris. There's lots of other great stuff going on this month, like changes to the instancing system for bosses, making it easier for you to rejoin rentals after restocking, and as a result from months of discussions on the forums, we're finally ready to release our new look skill capes, so keep an eye out for those. The outfit on Solomon's store this month is something really special, a Dark Lord pack featuring crazy animations and a fearsome looking costume. Plus, we've got new potions to give your character some unique skin tones. The beta servers are getting some new content to try out and give feedback on too, like the rework to the death system, a crazy mashup of legacy interfaces and EOC action bars, and a new drop pickup system that allows you to grab multiple piles of loot in one easy click. The beta servers are there for you to try things out, so do let us know your feedback after you do. And don't forget, Easter will be rearing its head right at the end of the month with lots of bunny and imp action. But more on that in an up and coming video. Have fun, Wooters out. And we'll be getting stuck into March's content on next week's Behind the Scenes.